Um, this is from Med Bullet Journal. Do pigmented inks, like platinum pigmented inks, clog fountain pens more than shimmer inks? Mm. I really like this question. That is a good question. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, because you're really talking about two different pigments, right? It's yeah, like, yeah, but I don't think I've ever heard it before, but I really enjoyed it. Yeah, the answer hmm. is um, no. Uh, they are very different because uh, like Iron Gall, like pigmented inks are pretty original. Like they date back to some of the more traditional fountain pen mm -hmm. ink mixtures. This was being used for a long, long time. It's a tried and true thing. Pigmented ink goes back yeah. pretty far. Shimmer ink, however, is pretty new. It's pretty mm -hmm. uh, pretty recent on the scene, you know, in the last decade or so. So, and I think the first shimmer ink we ever saw, Brian, was probably J. Urban uh, Rouge Hematite, right? That's the first that I can recall. I yeah. don't know so if that is like historically the first, but first, yeah, it definitely since it, we've it, been in business. Yeah, it's definitely picked up in the last like you know seven years around there. Um, so yeah, definitely newer. The 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 pigment doesn't settle at nearly the same rate as shimmer particles do. Those things plummet to the bottom of the bottle every time, and you have to shake it a lot more. Pigment will probably eventually settle but it stays in liquid suspension far far more effectively than shimmer does in almost every instance that i've seen i will say every instance that i've seen and th being that it's not going to settle as quick it's not going to clog your pen as fast either like with shimmer ink if you leave that thing alone for a couple days and you don't agitate it regularly all of the ink all the shimmer particles are going to uh, settle in the same location and then even after repeated agitations and writing they're going to continue to settle and settle on top of that and settle on top of that until you have a clog and pigment just doesn't do that to the same extent at all um so uh they're both going to be in that more high maintenance category but mm -hmm. the distance between those two from a maintenance standpoint is, is far like they're both farther into the high maintenance category than just a standard dye based ink is but there's a pretty big gap between the two as far as maintenance goes. So if you're looking for ease of cleaning and you're wondering which one to go for, a pigment is definitely going to be less high maintenance. Yeah, I think, um, you know, again, pigmented inks are one of those things that we hear warnings about from certain like pen manufacturers and stuff like that. Um, you know, not that you can't use them, but like, you know, make sure to keep them clean. Sort of the same things that are often said about the Iron Gall ink um, is kind of the same, like make sure you don't use it in long periods and flush it out regularly, that kind of thing um, for, the, for any pigmented ink, shimmer or otherwise. Um, so I think you can basically, when it comes to your cleaning regimen, treat pigmented and shimmer inks essentially the same. I think that the shimmer ink probably is a little more obvious when it's not properly cleaned out of the pen because it'll literally just like glitter on the feed and stuff like that. So it's it stands out a little bit more. So that's the only warning is like, make sure you're actually really cleaning out um, those pigmented inks. Um, and then, you know, the only issue that I've really had with the, any of the pigmented inks is uh, when you <laughs> have a cleaning regimen like I do, and you uh, may be prone to leaving the ink so long in the pen that it completely dries out that's when it's a much more of a pain to clean that out because you know think about the nature of the pigments they are meant to dry on surfaces not by you know like dye where it has to absorb into it so when you have something that dries on the surface of a feed or the inside of your pen or whatever trying to clean that out is going to be much more difficult than if you clean it out while it's still wet and all those pigments are still in suspension so really try not to let them completely dry out in the pen. That really goes for both shimmer and pigmented, but I think in that instance, the pigmented is actually a little more maintenance if you let it go too far like that. So just kind of be be aware. And, you know, speaking about when Drew was talking about like the historical nature of these pigments, um, a lot of times if you have something called India ink or China ink or lawyer's ink, that's what these are. These are often the really traditional versions of them are shellac based or acrylic based. So they are not fountain pen friendly. You do not want to use them. Um, however, there are some, <laughs> gotta love the marketing uh, stuff that come up with some of these companies, but like there is like a Pelican, like they call it, I think they call it Fount India ink <laughs> or something like that. It's a fountain pen friendly India ink. It's, a, it's basically a pigmented ink. So just be really conscious anytime you're using any of these types of pigmented inks, make sure that it's a version that's made for fountain pens because if you're using a traditional version that's made for dip pens, like if you go in to your local craft store and get a Higgins India ink or something like that, 
you're probably getting a shellac or an acrylic based version. You put that in your pen and thing is going to clog immediately, not because of the pigment, because the medium is not, it doesn't flow in a fountain pen. And then the only way to clean it out is with alcohol or acetone, which would also melt your feed. So not great. Don't do that. So we don't sell any of that stuff. <laughs> the only things we have are the ones that Drew mentioned, the platinum ones, a couple sailors. Yeah, um, which, really which are both fantastic in. inks, by the way. I, I would mm -hmm. highly recommend the platinums and the sailors. They're beautiful, yeah. beautiful inks that I've always yeah. had really great experience with. So many choices, Drew. Yes, so indeed. Many options.